In number 58, we need to solve the inequalities. So for the first one, I need to get x alone. Just subtract 4 from both sides. Negative x is less than or equal to 3. I need to divide by negative 1. When I divide both sides up by, of an inequality by a negative, I must remember to flip the inequality. So on the left, I have x. And on the right, I have negative 3, and I flip my inequality. So x is greater than or equal to negative 3. In 58b, I'm going to distribute first. 3x minus 18 is greater than 4x plus 10. I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. So negative 18 is greater than x plus 10. And then I need to subtract 10 from both sides. So negative 28 is greater than x. That is the same thing as saying that x is less than negative 28. So either one of these answers are correct. In part C, I need to distribute it on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I have 1 half x minus 3 is less than 2x minus 1 half. So I multiply that side by 2. Now I'm going to get my x's together. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. 1 half minus 2 is negative 1 and a half or negative 3 halves. X minus 3 is less than negative 1 half. I'm going to add 3 to both sides, and I would have negative 3 halves X is less than 2 and a half. I'm going to have to change it to an improper. So negative 3 halves X is less than 5 halves. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so 5 over 2. In order to solve this, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. The reciprocal of negative 3 halves is negative 2 thirds. These cancel. X, I multiply by a negative, so I have to flip my inequality. And I get my 2's can cancel. I'll have negative 5 over 3. In 58D, I need to get X alone. And all I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 4. On the left-hand side, it cancels. So x is less than or equal to negative 4 over 3. And I did not need to flip my inequality because I multiplied by a positive 4.